got something. Oh, ho, ho, ho. had something, it let go. Oh my God, that is, here's a pretty good squid. We're just at uh, Port Victoria, uh, Port Vincent, sorry, off the end of the breakwater. Okay, guys, we just had a, uh, a squid follow in this soft plastic, and we are literally going to catch him right here. There, did you see that? He's got the jig. Oh, he let go. I think he saw me. Oh, damn. Don't tell me he's disappeared. He put his lips right, well, his tentacles right around it. Oh, that was frustrating. He literally at my feet put his things around and I didn't quite jag him because I was waiting for him to go back and he just let go. All right, guys, we've got a squid. This actually feels like a reasonable size. Might be the one we were just playing with. I'm just going to land him up on this rock, try and... Oops, oh, that was good. Faced him away just in time for that. Yeah, I reckon it's the same same one. Yeah, he's a, he's a pretty good squid. So happy with that to kick off the session. Uh, we'll get him in the bucket on some ice and uh, we'll keep going. Hopefully we catch a few more. Hopefully we get that, uh, that flathead that was chasing us. Okay, that was my hand reel, deciding to go for a wander. Sort this one out. And we got another one, guys. This is good, we're gonna do the same trick. Land him up on this rock here. Oh, I think he got me that time. Oh no, he just got the water bit. So, Inku Glow Tiger. Nice size. Sorry, nice size. G'day guys, so yeah, the Inku has done it again. Um, uh, not the huge size, but uh, you know, gave a good fight. We're just gonna put him in the bucket and keep at it. And we've got another one. Oh, maybe not. Was that the bottom? Oh, felt like a squid, like it was moving but it had a lot of weight. I'd say it would have been a big one if it was one. Just uh, blowing the weed off the rig jig there. Got a few little whiting around here. Tiny ones, not ones worth catching. Okay, guys, we've caught squidly thrunt number three. Feels like a bit better size, this one. Again, we'll try and stay out of his way when he's gonna squirt. We'll just bring him up here. There we go, no, about the same. We've got him, about the, about the same size as the others. He's a bit angry. Number three of the squidly diddlies. Again, the Inco strikes again, having a great session on the end of the Port Vincent breakwater. It was a good decision. I was going to go to Black Point. I uh, hadn't fished there before and it was a bit windy but I actually drove into the weather because um, it was actually getting worse as I got further south on, um, on the peninsula but it seems to have cleared up and this looks really quite well protected. So let's keep uh, smashing out these, uh, these squid. Oh actually we're not because we've got our line on the Zibberly bag. Oh god that's a long way down! Now, I will come back to this uh, soft plastics, but I think just while we're doing very, we're doing relatively well with this squid, we keep going. Yeah, we got him. Beautiful. It's not a very big one, but that's okay. We're, so he's not very big, um, this one. I'm thinking about putting him out as a live bait, but I'm quite happy to have four, even if this one is a little bit smaller. Um, so we'll get him in the bucket and we'll, we'll keep having a crack seeing as we're doing quite well. So I'm just getting uh, my last Tommy to put out on that, uh, on that squid uh, jig, Spike. Now, just wanted to give a shout out to How's Your Tackle. 
um, bait really well individually quick frozen I love their bags I'm actually going to wash them out and be able to reuse them because they've got a fantastic resealable lid anyway that's enough of that but uh, yeah if you're looking for really good bait how's your tackle I pick all most of my bait up when I'm coming over York Peninsula at the uh, um, I'll put the link down below um, at the Port Wakefield tackle and bait uh, which is all part of the the service type station there uh, uh, or car servicing place so um, yeah have a have a look out of that and I'll, as I said I'll put it in the link so I haven't been getting much action on this except for that flatty that chased it in um, so I'm just going to try a different soft plastic so just going to try these uh, perhaps more natural looking um, minnows, uh, mud minnow uh, from Z-Man and uh, we'll, we'll see if we can get that um, getting some action. That squid float was going under. Might have just been a crab. Sometimes if you move it, the squid might come back for it. Definitely looks like there's something on it. Yeah. That's probably one of our best ones for today. A couple of things, I'm just going to make sure my squid jig is ready just in case we do need to use it quickly. And I'm just going to put some S factor on this little minnow. Just going to put it in that back bit there. And just get it all over that soft plastic. It should look pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Let's flick it out and see how we go. Got something. Oh, ho, ho, ho. had something. It let go. Oh my God. That is one chomped soft plastic. That's probably rock cod or something like that. Rass. There's a big leather jacket down there, but he has absolutely destroyed that. Go put that in the bucket. Uh, just going to check out this float again. There's some fish out the back there. They could be snook, salmon. Oh, I don't know what's going on here, to be honest. Uh, there's weed on it. Get the weed off. Definitely crabs had a go at it. So definitely the crabs have had a go at it. Normally the crabs uh, eat sort of the gills and the belly as it has, and normally the squid will attack it sort of at the back of the head here. <laughs> Not very big. Um, yeah, he liked uh, he liked the look of that. It's got plenty of uh, plenty of ink over him. That's a, a lovely size. Again, we'll get him in the bucket. So that's five squid for the session so far. Um, but a lovely night. You can see the sunset already coming down. Um, we'll uh, enjoy that for sure. <music> down at the uh, Port Victoria um, jetty now. Um, it's uh, about quarter to seven. Apologies for the lighting. My light on my media mod on my GoPro apparently is flat even though I barely used it and kept it charged. So uh, I'll do my best to try and uh, keep this all uh, in reasonable lighting, but there's no actual lights except for one down there and there's a gentleman already fishing there. So um, anyway, that might be good for the snook. They generally like the darker water. So we'll uh, give it a crack. It's just really hard to film without this light. So we're going to call it there. Thanks very much for following along. Please, uh, if you enjoyed and got this far, give us a like and even better, a subscribe. Leave a comment. Uh, have you fished here before? Are there other spots around Port Victoria land base that you think we should uh, explore? Hey guys, um, got to be quiet because I just got home and it's about um, quarter past midnight. Uh, we did actually all right. Um, we got... Uh, 
a nice little flatty. Um, he took a five inch new chicken Z-Man plastic. Um, it's about 34, 35 centimeters. Um, and we've got a few more Tommies as well. So the squid uh, in the sink, uh, the five of them that you saw me catch. Um, so we'll get on to cleaning them. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for hanging around this far. Um, give us a like and a subscribe and we'll uh, see you on the next vid. The receiver. Oh, sorry. Uh, the, so it's a bit annoying because the receiver for the receiver for my 